Thursday, June 8th. Well, we had, it's beautiful out today, or at least part of the day. We got some sun, so that's cool. And the weather is nice, temperature-wise. But we had the uh, Jim Comey testimony today for, in front of the Senate Intelligence Committee. You have to really look at this in two different ways. Was he hurt legally and was he hurt politically? I think most of the lawyers we'll see on TV will say that he really wasn't hurt legally here because um, the former FBI director said that he was not under investigation and that the only reason he didn't tell everybody that publicly was because he didn't want to like have a start point and then if something happened then say, well, now you're not, now you are under investigation, then you're not under investigation. That would have reprised uh, reprise the uh, Hillary situation, and he didn't want that to happen. And, and that makes sense there that he didn't announce it. But legally, it doesn't sound like the president has anything, any real problem. But let's look at this politically, because politically it's all that matters. Um, he has his core people who support him, but I've been talking to some people today who are his core, can't believe a lot of the stuff that's going on, because how can he think that if he's calling in Jim Comey, and he tells everybody in the room to leave in the Oval Office, leave, I'm going to talk to, to Comey, and then, you know, Jared Kushner's looking in, or Reince Priebus is looking in, and he just shoes them away and closes the door and says, you know, kind of, I hope you, you know, this thing goes away with, uh, with Flynn because he's a nice guy. There's no way one could think that this is anything but a direction for the president. Look, when you get called into the room of the man, gender neutral, you get called into the room and everybody else is told to leave the room and you're just sitting there, you're being told something. When everybody else is being told to leave the room, you're being told this is secret just between you and that person. And you're being told that that person's giving you a message that he or she wants you to get. And it isn't just a Hey, I hope you do it. Nice word, but he's telling them. I would think that's just my opinion, but I think it's a bit obvious. He told them, hey, get rid of this thing, will you? It's just really killing what I'm trying to do here at the administration. What the president won't do is accept that he's the person who's really led to all this because now we have um, a Comey test, Mr. Comey testifying to the to the to the Senate that the reason I mean he leaked the stuff he was private individual it's his stuff he leaked the stuff and suddenly now an independent prosecutor is is appointed if the president had just said you're out of here I love you I wish you the best go and have a great vacation on the government on your pension do your thing right on this very possibly would have gone away, but he has to just jump up and down and just scream and say things. And yeah, he is a liar. He lies all the time. What he says at that moment is what he believes. We've always said that. But, you know, just because you believe it at that moment doesn't mean that you don't have a duty to find out if what you're saying is really true. And he never really goes back and tries to change it. And when Jim Co James Comey says he thought that this man was lying and setting him up, you can understand it because he's been setting up everybody else in his organization there in the White House. Nobody wants to work for him. So we have a lot of issues we have to deal with. Once again, I'm not as worried about the domestic as I am about what's going on in the, in the, in the Middle East and Korea. There's all this stuff in Europe, all the stuff we have to deal with. The president should just say, hey, but I think politically, hey, I just, I'll leave this alone. I hope he does after today. But politically, you have a very, very credible guy testifying in James Comey, and he said it like it is. And if the president has tapes, bring them out. Let's hear it. But uh-uh, it really sounds like he was putting the hammer on him. Why? I don't know. And is there anything there? I just think he may have just liked Michael Flynn. But he put the hammer on him. It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen because this is just going to keep things going. The president doesn't know when to stop. Peace.